The title of the topic is using the network on purpose. First of all, we look at the objectives of the topic. After completing this topic, a student will be able to explain when the users use the network on purpose. The figures and the material in this topic have been adapted from Computer Network First Step by Wendell Udom's book. Internet. When we use the internet, the chances are very high that we will be aware that we are using a network. The internet is a global network to which almost every company and organization in the world is connected. In its most basic form, the internet is a large number of networks that are connected together, allowing computers in each network to communicate with others. You can make a phone call to almost anyone on the planet because all the telephone companies in the world connect to each other. Similarly, most computers can communicate with each other over the internet because most computer networks connect to each other through the internet. We can think of the, inter the word internet as meaning interconnected networks. Many of the networks that comprise the internet are enterprise networks. To create the basic connectivity between enterprise networks and home, home internet users, internet service providers, commonly known as ISPs, provide networking connections among enterprises, individual home users, and other ISPs. Each ISP connects to at least one other ISP so that there is at least one path from every company to every other company. Thus, everyone who is connected to the internet can communicate. In this diagram, we can see that there are three different routers which have been shown here, ISP A, ISP B, ISP C. These three ISPs, if you see, each ISP is consisting of a number of routers. These ISPs are connected with each other and allow every computer on the world to communicate with every other computer. So if we want to further elaborate the idea, let's look at a chunk of the internet. In this diagram, we have shown two individual users, Fred and Barney. And then we have two, shown two enterprise networks, company A and company B. There are three ISP, which have also been shown in this diagram, ISP1, ISP2, and ISP3. Each ISP has created a network with the details hidden by a network cloud. A line representing a cable allows the enterprise network such as company A and ISP1 to communicate. ISP1's network allows individual computers such as FREDs to connect to it. FRED could communicate with computers inside company A, assuming that the security policies at company A allows him to do so. Company A has created its enterprise network using hardware, software, and cabling paid for by company A. ISP1 has created its own network as well using its own funds. ISP1 agrees to allow company A's traffic to pass through ISP1 and to other ISPs so that company A can communicate with the rest of the world. In return, company A has to pay some ongoing fee to ISP-1. On the other hand, Barney is connected to ISP-2. Barney probably is using his phone line, his computer, and a modem to connect to ISP-2. What is a modem? A modem is a device that allows a computer to communicate with another computer using a plain old telephone line. After Barney has connected to ISP2, he can communicate with computers in company A, company B, and even with his own individual friend, Fred. Like company A, Barney pays his ISP, which is ISP2 in his case, a fee for allowing him to access the internet. So in this topic, we have seen that how people are using the network on purpose. This concludes this lecture.